So if you don't know what OLL is, it's basically the third step in the advanced CFOP method. It's where after you've solved the first two layers of the cube, like this, you have a bunch of scrambled pieces on the top, and you have to make the yellow pieces facing up, like that. So there's more than 50 cases for that, and if you want, you can go and learn them. It'd probably take a while. But I'm going to make it easier by showing you 10 cases that you might already know. And I'm not kidding when I say you might already know them. Basically, they could be like parts of other algorithms or different variations of other algorithms that you might already know. So you won't really need to learn anything extra to know these cases. And if you're watching this video, I assume you don't use the beginner's method because there's a lot of things you need to learn before full OLL. If you know things like full PLL or two look OLL, then you should know most of these cases I'm gonna show you. So let's get started. I'll start with the easiest, so this is the easiest one right here. This is the case that looks like a T and the other two edges are pointing out and the other two corners are pointing down. So if you use two look OLL, you'd probably just do like the F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime to solve the cross. And that's what you should do actually, but you should do it from the other side like this. And then when you do that, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, it actually solves the entire case. So as long as you know two look OLL or even some beginner OLL methods, you should know that one. Next we're going to do this case. It kind of looks like a B and this edge up here is pointing like up and these three are all pointing to that side. And once again, if you know two look OLL, then you'll know this one. What you do to solve this case is you do the same thing you would do to solve any case where these two edges are pointing up. So F wide. R U R prime U prime and F wide prime. So if you already use that algorithm to solve the corner case for two look OLL, then you should know that. And the next case is actually even easier once you know the one I just showed you. It's this case that's just a straight line and there's two bars and the other two corners are pointing out. What you do is you hold it like this and you do that algorithm that was in the last one but twice. And it solves itself. This next one is the same thing that we saw two times ago, but it's on the left side. So you just have to use your left hand to do the algorithm like this. And there you go. So far for all these cases, you should know them if you know two look OLL. And this one is actually the same way. So it looks like this. And if you hold it with this chunk up in the top right, you can do a variation of the anti soon algorithm. So basically the first move instead of being a normal R is an RY like this. And then you do the normal algorithm. And then the last R is an R wide prime. So it's just the first and last moves are wide instead of normal. And that leads us to this case right here. It's the same thing as the last one, but instead of an anti soon, it's a regular soon. So it's one of the lightning bolt cases. And if you hold it like this and do a soon, but with wide moves at the front and back, like that. And it solves it. So you'll know these next two cases if you know either Y or T perms. I'm not sure if you knew this, but those algorithms are basically just two OLL algorithms back to back. So if you watch closely, the first half of a Y perm is actually just an OLL case, and the second half solves it. So that means if you split Y perm in half, then you have two OLL cases that you know. So the first half of a Y perm solves this case right here. And if you hold it this way and do, yeah, just the first half it solves it. And the second half is for the other T case like this, but where there's two bars pointing to the front and back. If you hold it like this and do the second half of a Y perm or the first half of a T perm, it's the same thing. It solves it. So the last one is actually two cases, but only the first one is really easy for some reason, so I'm only counting it as one but I will show you the second one. They're the two cases where only edges are unsolved, so this one looks like an H. It's pretty easy because it's just a sexy move, and then an M prime, and then a reverse sexy move with an R wide at the end. So to show you again, sexy move, M prime, reverse sexy move, wide R prime. And the other case looks like this. It's a little bit less intuitive. It's actually just the same thing but backwards, but it's kind of harder to do for some reason. But it's just a sexy move with the R wide at the start, and then you do M and then a reverse sexy move normally. I think the reason it seems harder to me is because of the finger tricks for it. It kind of makes it look harder just by doing it. But yeah, those are 10 OLL cases that you might have already known. If any of them were helpful or you want to see more videos like this or any kind of cubing videos, then make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on.